Welcome back, guys. We are back for another reaction video. Um, kind of on a little bit of a roll today, so I'm probably going to record a bunch. That way I have some in the tank. That way there's not as big of a break as we have been having. But aside from all of that stuff, I'm glad to be back, glad to be making these videos and stuff like that. Um, I should be past all the audio issues that I was having. I'm not 100% sure what was going on there, but got it all lined out. Got a new amplifier, got all that stuff. Everything's taken care of. So uh, today we're just kind of <laughs> going off this video. It's Buttholes by Tom McDonald. Um, yeah, I, I don't know, guys. I got nothing. Roll the intro. Uh, hey, welcome back to this side of the jump, guys. And for those of you guys that know Tom McDonald, he addresses all sorts of different stuff in his music videos, whether it's cultural inequality or whether it's looking at things like, uh, I believe his last song was um, If I Was Black uh, or something along those lines. So he does address a lot of those issues in society that are kind of taboo that we don't always cross. But then he, he has these like off the wall kind of trolling songs, plus his beef that he had with uh, Mac Lethal. I think that that honestly showed like a new side to him. He had a lot of bars that people weren't expecting. And a lot of it's because people do get used to seeing him with these songs that aren't necessarily serious. And he's dressed weird and he's just doing weird stuff with his hair. And he's, you know, out there just wearing all sorts of craziness and Indian headdresses and bulletproof vests and just being tom mcdonald um but overall he's very very talented even though i don't think he gets the credit that he deserves just because of his approach to stuff so hey let's see obviously this song is called buttholes so let's find out if it's serious or not all right Look, Donald there. Trump isn't as bad as they say he is. Really only trying to make America great again. The Bible's just a book for people scared to be atheists. Did we land on the moon? I mean, maybe they're faking it. The Earth could be flat. The presidents could be aliens. And Americans might even be nicer than Canadians. Unpopular opinions got us caught up in the craziness and hating one another. But we're all just homo sapiens. Someone's always going to hate you no matter what. Right. Is Hold up. See, and this is what I'm talking about. Like, the silly visuals take away from some of his lyrics sometimes. Like, I, I want you to listen really close to what he says in this line, okay? See, this is what I'm talking about. Um, I'm, I'm a fan of Tom McDonald. I am, but I feel like personally, a lot of times the visuals and the mood that he puts out in his songs, yes, it draws people in and it gets people like to laugh and stuff. Like I laughed over that whole golden shower, like don't get pissed in the cornflakes and stuff like that. Like it's funny, but 
sometimes it takes away from the seriousness of the matter because he, he's making a damn good point here. Like, we want to hate and have opinions on everybody and, you know, block people that we know and hate everyone we don't know. And we want to form opinions on shit that we think is right and we think is wrong. And so it's a serious subject, but it, it's hard to really listen to it sometimes with the visuals that he puts out there. And I'm not hating on him. I know that I'm going to get some downvotes for that because I swear every time I say something negative in a video, I get downvotes, which, hey, I don't care. But anyways, different point. For, actually, that's a perfect point. Like, you say something that somebody disagrees with and they automatically dislike the video, even though, like, you're just giving your opinion. Opinions are like buttholes. Everybody has one and most people hide it. But anyways, that proves the point of what the song is about. But I don't know that the visual supports the message that he's trying to say. But at the same time, if he did, like, a dead-ass serious video, it wouldn't really be Tom McDonald. So he's being him. He's being true to who he is. He's not changing for other people. So I guess that is the point of the video as well. So, hey, maybe... Maybe I got the whole thing messed up. Yeah, Elsa. Oh, shoot, there's a lot left to this video. Um, quick final thoughts, because I know usually with his videos, there's like bloopers and stuff like that at the end. Um, so a couple of thoughts on that. First, I, I want to correct myself a little bit because I did say, you know, if he made a serious video, people wouldn't know how to take it. And I'm not saying that, like, if I was black or white boy or any of those weren't serious videos because they were. Um, so I should have said, like, the majority of his music videos are goofy and lighthearted. Um, so he does have that ability. It's just few and far between in comparison to a lot of his other songs. But I just wanted to fix that out there. Um, but the other thing is... One of the things that Mac Lethal brought up in the discs back and forth is he brought up the fact that um, Tom McDonald's girlfriend, Nova, writes a lot of his raps. And hey, if she does, she does. What rapper out there, almost all of them, doesn't have ghostwriters at some point or another? I don't, I don't have any dislike about that because if you look at country singers, rock singers, you know, all of the other genres and stuff like that, 99% of the time they're performing songs that are written by other people. So, I don't know. I don't get as bothered by that as other people, but one thing that I got to give her is whether it's a serious video or whether it's a joking video or whatever the case may be, she produces his videos, she directs them and stuff like that. Um, so she does an awesome job, and not only with that, but you should definitely go out of your way to check out her music because she's also very, very talented and just wanted to kind of say that that way for any of you guys that weren't tracking about Nova Rockefeller. Um, she was with Def Jam for a while. I'm honestly not 100% sure where she ended up at now with her record deal, but uh, she's super talented as well. And one of these days, I'm probably going to go and uh, react to one of her videos. Uh, anyways, let's see what the second half of this video has got for us. All right. Action. Where do these moves come from? All right, I'm ready. All right, let's go. Ready? Yeah. Give me the wave. Three. Nope. That's, I'm ready. ready? Yeah. Okay. What you gonna do, brother? Hello, me. Feature me. Hi, Nova. <laughs> Alright, I'm ready.
You're making that insane face again. Give me some cool faces. Cool. <laughs> now, Looks like a cricket right, commercial. One more time. <laughs> That's all you're gonna give me? Yeah. Okay. He should have put. Oh, he did make it a unicorn. All right, y'all. So that's really all there was to that video. Um, there's not really any analysis that needs to be done over a bunch of bloopers other than just, you know, that shows off their relationship and how funny that they can be and all that stuff. But anyways, uh, you guys, I go through this every single video. You know the drill. Subscribe, subscribe, comment if you want to comment. If you liked it, like it, all that stuff. I really appreciate any shares, all of that stuff that you do with your friends. Other than that, I don't really have anything else to say because I covered it all before the bloopers. Anyways, this is The Amazing Bacon, and I will talk to you guys next time.